Yep, I too fall fell for it without even knowing. Mega Man Sonic X back here for an uninspect unexpected fourth part of setting up the iPlayer. As you know, there is a new update that unknowingly disabled all flashcards. So today we are gonna outsmart something since we're gonna outsmart probably Nintendo's worst update since the Wii's 4.3 update. And we are going to get our iPlayer working again on version 1.4.1. I only wish I had a clapping sound effect to do this. We need, of course, a DSi with 1.4.1 firmware. iOS. Your trusty old iPlayer. Um, the iPlayer's website. A chocolate shake. And now we are ready to go. Okay, so first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put in our S my our micro SD card. I unknowingly wiped out all of it thinking I was gonna replace the firmware, but yeah. So now, oh yeah, you're also going to need to download the firmware for the newest one, iPlayer firmware for firmware 1.4.1, if you can follow that. Okay, so now, open up, and there's two things I don't know what either is, but I'm going to go for ENG because I'm going to assume that's English and your other is Chinese. So here we have a system one that file. I guess that's the primary backbone for the iPlayer. So now we're going to go back into our iPlayers uh, thingy. Go to dash systems. Oh, that's empty. I forgot that I wiped it out. I don't know what those files were. And here is the iPlayer system one that. So here's what we are going to do. We could probably get rid of this since it's pointless now. Take the new one. Drag it. And drop it. At least that's what I think. <laughs> Don't tell Nintendo we're doing this or else they're going to find a way to get 1.4.2 out and disable all of our hard work. So now that that's in, oh yeah. I also saved the plugins folder from last time. So let's see, uh, where's my saved our plugins folder from last time? So just gonna drag, put that in. Doobla 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 do. That way I don't have to go through reconfiguring the Game Boy Advance player and the other emulators. It's a pain to do it once, I don't feel like doing it a second time. Come on, little bar. So I guess after the simply replacing that system one now with the new one, let's put it in and see if it works. Got my micro SD. Got my iPlayer. We put that in. Re re put that in. I say re re because I already said re once. Ruining my sticker from taking it in and out so many times. Let's go back to the main menu. And Eureka. Just like that, it works. Oh yeah, because I wiped it out thinking it was going to be a whole new firmware, I sort of deleted everything, so if this is your first time using the iPlayer, congratulations, here's how you update. Put, put it on with the update, dot that, just press OK, and there's the update, completed. And now, I guess let's go see. Just don't tell Nintendo about this, eh? If you want it to keep working, that is. 
DSGBA, web, little webcam glare. And just like that, we are working again. We must feel accomplished. And with that, I guess I'll say good bye. Tempting as this guy is to fight again, I do not know if we have time, so... Uh, unfortunately, I have to leave at this again. Uh, this, uh, one more minute can't hurt. Ah. Ugh, nope. Ah, uh, I had my fun. I guess I'll see you all next time.